So I'm sitting at home watching on my computer and I see my Twitter feed load up that the AMD event at Computex is getting ready to start. I grab my popcorn, grab my G Fuel, and I sit back and I was amazed at what AMD is bringing to the table with their RX 480. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Let's roll that intro. Now for those who didn't get to see the event, I, I feel bad for you because it was an awesome event from AMD. AMD live streamed the event last night and I'm just waking up this morning to give you all the news and breakdown into what's coming with the RX 480 and the whole Polaris line of GPUs. So last night, AMD pretty much just displayed their RX 480, their budget VR ready card. AMD's whole event hype was around getting the VR experience to the mainstream and allowing people to get good VR, not the crappy VR like Google Cardboard and that sort of thing, the good VR with the Vive and the Oculus. Good VR support to the mainstream and allow people with lower budgets to be able to get in and play some great VR titles. And doing so, they released a graphics card, the RX 480, that comes in with five teraflops of compute performance, a 150 watt power draw, which is really, really power efficient for a graphics card, especially on AMD side of things. And it has great software supporting DirectX 12, um, and it's a premium gaming experience. Premium gaming experience, but this is not the kicker. You're probably thinking this is like a $500 graphics card. This graphics card comes in at a grand total of $200 MSRP. That's it. 200 bucks, reference card, boom, done. $200. Now, the card looks really good. I don't know how well it's going to perform thermally. Um, it has a lower power draw, so I'm assuming it'll probably perform very well. But $200 for this card. Now, you're wondering, what? how good is this thing going to do, honestly? How good is this card? Well... According to AMD, this card falls in between the line of a 980, 980 Ti, but all reviewers are under NDA until the end of June, so we really won't know specifics, but they're looking at the card being anywhere between a 980, 980 Ti range, competing with a 1070, and having the kind of power that offers it to be a very budget-oriented option. So AMD is delivering the high performance at a low cost, what they always do, and basically trying to give NVIDIA a force to push down their prices or do something to counteract this because AMD's gonna control the budget market here with a $200 card that performed somewhat evenly to a $500 card a year ago. That's ridiculous. And I thought NVIDIA was doing something ridiculous by releasing this $379 card that performs equally to a $1,000 card, which is still equally ridiculous. But what it, AMD is offering is the mid-tier price that most people are used to paying for, like me with my R9 270X, giving them a high-end gaming experience. It's kind of ridiculous. And if I haven't mentioned, it has eight gigabytes of GDDR5, which is a lot of VRAM. It's just a great card. Like that's gonna be something really awesome to look forward to. And I plan on picking up not just one, but two of them to test the claim that they said that two of these in Crossfire can perform just a little bit less, if not greater than a GTX 1080. Now, now that's AMD's testing and that could all be bin and you don't really know for sure. But if that's the case, you're paying 400 bucks for a Crossfire setup that performs better than the GTX 1080, which could market around 600 something dollars. So I'm definitely gonna get two in house. I'll be waiting, refreshing the button, dropping my $400 on both cards because I wanna get them. AMD's not really gonna send us one because we're not at the level yet, but I'm gonna buy two. I'm gonna do some testing, maybe give away one of them or sell another one. Depends on how we're doing financially at the time. But basically, we're gonna be doing testing of that. And I'm really excited to see what the RX 480 has to offer. AMD didn't just release their graphics card yesterday. They released their new line of APUs and desktop processors, which, you know, it's, it's all right. The power efficiency is really cool. They have cool APUs, that sort of thing. You, you expect the, the stuff to happen. It's not really that huge of a deal, but one thing that they did officially show off, AMD Zen. Now this AMD Zen processor, is an eight core, 16 thread processor. Okay, eight core, 16 thread processor. There's no pricing or anything. They're still working on Zen, but it has a 40% IPC improvement over their last generation. And the code name is Summit Ridge. So Summit Ridge is gonna be the first line of AM4 processors 
on the Zen architecture and it looks really, really promising. Eight cores, 16 threads is gonna be awesome, competing with Intel around the Haswell range. And hopefully it falls in between their consumer line and it comes in at a price that's very affordable. And if that happens, AMD is on the right track to recapturing the market of budget gamers and getting people that really, really can't afford the high-end platforms of Intel and even switching some people over because I have the i7-2600K. If they come out with a processor that's really good for video rendering and comes in at a price tag that's really, really reasonable, I might actually switch over to it. That might be my upgrade instead of going with something on the high-end Intel side because, I mean, budget-friendly, that's what I'm looking for. And if I go for a system with like an RX 480 and whenever Zen comes out, like that's a good budget system that's pretty much high end and can be considered mainstream at the same time, which is quite ridiculous. And I'm really impressed to see what AMD has to do with it. But this is all speculation. They have released some of these numbers and that sort of thing. So they are confirmed by AMD, but you know how companies are. Some of this stuff may not be as high performing as they say it is. And they're kind of just hoping that their cards do really good. And Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you haven't already, leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Let me know what you guys think about AMD Zen and the new Polaris architecture that's going to be releasing. And if you're going to pick up an RX 480 because I think it's going to be a very, very valuable card for all you gamers out there in the budget to mid-range level of budget. Yeah, whatever, whatever I just said. But thank you guys again. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me for more content. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.